I don't think my last video did this justice. Did, did So I'm going to make another one. And the last video was about highlighting um, just my favorite memories of watching Kobe play basketball. I didn't really delve into the actual lasting impact that it had on me. So, in fact, he's the reason why my channel name is Seamus248 because his jersey numbers were number 8 and number 24. Now, but I, I just prefer number 24 because that's what I that's what I watched when I first got into basketball. That's after he had gone to number 24. So I could just combine 24 and then 8, you got 248. So that's, that's why I named my channel that, Seamus248. And as it relates to me, you know, you know, taking basketball with life itself and just intertwining those two, this is another way Kobe had an impact on me. So we all know that he had a relentless work ethic and a, a tolerance and a threshold for pain and injuries and and it, he would play through injuries and stuff like that. And I, I tried to take that as inspiration and, and have it manifest any way I could. So when I was in high school, everybody hated gym class. I, I, I'll never know why. And I, I, I was very apprehensive because most of the most of the people in gym class would just walk laps around the gym and they would get the same uh, passing grade that I would you either get a P for passing or an F for failing and they all got the same grade as I did even though I was actually you know shooting hoops while everyone just walked around the around the gym and gossiped and that, that, that that's just my opinion I, that's a completely separate thing maybe, maybe I can do a video about that in the future what it like <laughs> but it's irrelevant I was just pointing that out so like everyone didn't like gym class my so my point is they didn't like it and for, I, I couldn't understand why I would always be the first one in the gym in the locker room changing into my gym uniform first one out to run three laps first one to do stretches because I wanted to maximize as much time as I could you know if it would take about five minutes so I wanted to maximize at least 40 minutes with so me and a basketball and a hoop and nothing else decompress you know unwind forget about whatever classes I had at the time I had that day or whatever and just whatever whatever homework I had to do whatever whatever responsibilities whatever things were bothering me just a lot to put it in the back of my mind just me and a basketball and it didn't get any better than that and I, I would shoot like Kobe I would imitate the way he shot the ball his footwork his post up I would even take a wristband and I would wear it on my forearm the way he did <laughs> that, that's how seriously I took it I mean you could probably argue that that I could, I could even go to much greater lengths than that to express you know, my appreciation all for him, and then for the inspiration that he gave me. But those were just a few a few of the ways that I let it manifest. I I mean I, I religiously studied the way that he played the game, and I th I feel like we would all be so we would. I want to put this in perspective. I want to do it right. Of, because, I mean, if, if I've worn anything from him, is that you have to chase sex once to chase perfection and do things right and not mess it up. So, what I'm trying to say is that we would all do so well to approach life with the fraction of the passion and commitment and dedication that Kobe Bryant did. And it's I'm devastated that he's gone. It's a very sad day. I... I I don't know how I got through my last video, and I, I don't know I don't know how how I was so upbeat and so like obviously I was upset and sad, but I managed to keep it upbeat, and I don't know how I did it. I guess I was just focusing on all the positive, but I, I was I was I was wrongly underscoring the tragedy of this. It's a sad day. My heart goes out to him, to his family, his wife, and his two other daughters that are surviving. All of his friends and contemporaries and the, the other victims' families and friends. This is a sad day for basketball. This is a sad day for humanity. We lost a profound, a profoundly intellectual man who spoke multiple languages fluently, who not only showed fierce dedication on the basketball court, but when he, as soon as he stopped playing, he transcended, uh, uh, like... 
a lot of athletes retire and then they just go away and they don't do anything more meaningful with the rest of their lives and they just coast off the fact that they used to play a professional sport. Kobe got into storytelling and he won a damn Oscar for a short animated film that he made that talked about his love of basketball. And he would say in interviews that storytelling got him fired up every, every bit as much as basketball. He was able to find a second passion after basketball and apply the same level of passion and de dedication and creativity and drive and commitment to it. And, and I have my interest sports, obviously, thanks to Kobe, politics, music. I have varied interests. And there's different avenues throughout which I can pursue those interests and those passions. But it won't mean a damn thing if I don't if I don't chase those dreams and chase those goals with so much as one iota of the dedication that Kobe Bryant did. And for that, I'll be forever thankful to him. Rest in peace, Mamba. You'll be sorely missed.